Hey guys, welcome back to Aviation ABC. Today it's time for Letter C. Before we get started, let's roll the intro. See you guys today. If you want to find out why a lot of pilots do their PA announcement to their traffic controllers with hundreds of other pilots listening. Uh, 70 degrees right now. Let the abuse start. Come on, you can't let them get away with that. Nice for you. Welcome to New York. Where's our gate? What was the temperature again? <laughs> then you gotta watch that video. But before, today's topic, it's communication. Before we continue, for smash that like, subscribe, set the bell. Thanks. Guys. Communication, that's a big topic in aviation as well. So besides flying, we talk quite a lot, not just to each other, but also to air traffic controllers. Starts on the ground with delivery. Delivery basically gives us the first height, the departure route, etc. Then we get cleared to ground, which gives us the pushback and the first taxi clearance. Then we get cleared on a big airport to another ground frequency, then to the tower on the runway for takeoff, and then we fly. So we're gonna go to radar. When we're landing, we've got approach, We've got maybe direct on big airports and then tower again and then apron again or ground. And that's a lot to talk. But how are we talking exactly? Basically, we're talking over VHF. And if we need long distance, we're talking about HF. VHF stands for very high frequency and HF stands for high frequency. Pretty simple so far. We've got three antennas for VHF. They, two of them are on the top and one big one. And one is on the bottom, 737 right now. And we've got one HF antenna, which is in the vertical fin at the back of the aircraft. But what is VHF, very high frequency? VHF basically propagates waves in a line of sight manner. Line of sight means the transmitter and the receiver, they gotta see each other. Otherwise, you won't get any contact, basically. When you're directly on the ground, the distance is approximately 25 nautical miles of range for the voice transmission. If you're going up, that distance increases because uh, the angles are different. So if you bring a transmitter or a receiver upwards, like a plane, you get a way longer distance. And that's, we like VHF because it's a short wavelength, which uh, basically stands for good quality. That's why we use it predominantly in aviation. If we are on oceanic routes or anything, and ACUS or SATCOM or everything is not working, we can go back to HF high frequency. HF transmit in skyways. You can think about it like the transmitters are on our vertical fin, we talking, and those waves, the long ones, they get sent out in space, basically. And then the Earth's got a layer around it called the ionosphere. And the ionosphere reflects that wavelength, absorbs a bit of it, but reflects it down, back down to Earth in a specific angle. And that's a way, way longer distance. The thing with HF is the quality is not that good. That's why we love VHF and uh, HF is more or less our backup or in really remote areas. But how do we actually tune stuff like that and how do we use it? We've got three audio control panels and three radio tuning panels. An audio control panel looks like that, radio tuning panel like that. We use them simultaneously. So you need that one to use that one, you need that one to use that. That one we send our we, send, we select our mic output, basically, and our input for our headphones or the speakers in the cockpit. On that one, on the other hand, we select the frequency we want to transmit over. So VHF1, for example, we select here VHF1 to transmit and receive. Turn the volume up, otherwise you can't hear anything. And so if everything's set to VHF1, put the frequency in there, six-digit number, basically a dialing phone number, a bit more old school, but anyways. And then we talk. Same principle with HF. Select HF, select HF, select HF. Dial the frequency in there, activate it. So switch, put the two arrow switch, gets into active mode. Transmit, easy as that. How do we transmit? Well, we've got our boom mic on the right hand side in the cockpit. Take it, push the button, talk it. We've got our IO, top button, push it, talk. But always remember, to select the right mic output. We gotta switch between the mic selector buttons up here. So let's say you're approaching beautiful New York in a sunset mood, and um, you wanna do that passenger announcement, really happy about it, you, you, you're just on yourself looking out there enjoying the view, and you forgot to switch the button from VHF1 to PA. And that's the point where pilots start to transmit the PA announcement to air traffic controller and hundreds of pilots, and they most likely they will make fun of you. 
trust me. <laughs> and that sums up communications, guys. If you liked it, be sure to check out next week's Bye-bye.